Hello! Welcome back to my channel. So, there's this workout app that I've been wanting to use for a while, but I have been like stuck in using the one I'm used to just because I love it so much. I typically use the Sweat app, which is by Kayla Itzine. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. She's a really big fitness influencer, trainer person in Australia. And so, sorry, I just finished my workout, so I'm a little out of breath. And then this other workout app that I've been wanting to use and just haven't yet is called Knobs, and that stands for no BS. And it is by Lucy Mountain, who lives in England, I believe. So I've been wanting to try out Knobs for a while because it is just such an inclusive app. I will say the sweat app has gotten more inclusive and has gotten so many different types of workouts and different types of body shapes as fitness instructors, which is amazing. But the knobs philosophy is just to be open-minded and fitness is for everyone, etc, etc. So I've been wanting to try the app. I bought it when she first put it out, which was like beginning of this year because it was like half off or I forget what. There was some discount if you signed up that day, got a lifetime discount and I was like, I'm doing it. So I paid for it even though I haven't been using it. Not my best financial decision, but it's okay. I finally was getting a little burnt out of using the sweat app. And so today I was like, what do I do? I feel like I want to try something different. And then I remembered I have the knobs app. I started the knobs junior home guide. So there's junior and senior, and then there's a home guide, a gym guide, and then a backpack guide. So the backpack is like, if you don't have any weights at home, you can use a backpack and put a bunch of stuff in it as your weights, which is super cool. I tried week one workout one it was a full body workout so you can choose like how many days a week you want to work out two to four you have a lot of different options basically and there are 12 week long programs I just want to go through some of the things that I liked and disliked about my first time using it I again am used to the sweat workout app which has been a thing for years and it's like a worldwide really big app that like a lot of girls know about and a lot of people to use so they've probably done a lot of tweaking throughout the years I know they've changed for the better just since I've been using it the past like three years I think two to three years my baseline is like really high basically but overall the layout of this app it's beautiful so first off they have these daily pep talks it's like five different pep talks to give yourself every day those are just awesome I know some of them really relate to me and they actually have helped me some so even when I wasn't using the app every now and then I would open it just to get a little daily pep talk and then you have the workout and they also have recipes which I haven't tried any yet maybe I'll film some but I want to test it out. It's also different because like this was my issue with the recipes on the sweat app as well Because the sweat app recipes were like Australian food and I am in America And we just like eat slightly different food and then same with this like she's in England So they eat like slightly different food generally like it's not anything crazy But some of it would be like outside of my comfort zone. I'm also a pretty picky eater Anywho, so the workout it was good. I love the graphics. I love the graphic design of it It's very beautiful like even ease of use for a first time user it's a little confusing in certain aspects so I like that it generally gives you an overview of the workout that you're going to be doing you can click this button to like look through them but like unless I just don't know how to do it it's just kind of a frozen picture of Lucy it's not actually like her doing the workout you can like click the information button to see exercise steps but like it's not actually her doing the workout that's just confusing to me it's probably something super simple that I just don't understand but when I click on the screen Screen, it just switches to the next thing instead of playing it so that's a little confusing and then when you actually start working out it's nice because it does like count you down and tell you how many reps to do and then it counts down a rest time but then when it comes back from the rest you have to press play in order to actually start the next workout it's just like making you look at your phone and touch it more often while like the sweat app it just like goes through the steps like you know, you do your reps and then you press next and then it does the rest and it automatically goes to the next thing and it automatically shows her like doing the workout while on this app you have to press the play to see her do the workout each time. And maybe some people like that, maybe once they know what it is, they don't need to see it, but I like to personally see it. So I guess it is nice that you do have the option. But then I think with the timed ones, you still have to press play in order to get it to start playing, which is just kind of annoying because I just want to keep going. Also, my screen kept going black after a certain amount of time if I hadn't touched the screen. So that's just kind 
kind of annoying during a workout. I did really like at the top, it had like a percentage bar of like how far into the workout you are, which is nice because on the sweat app, I typically would like try to memorize what the layout was. So I knew like generally how far it was, but I like that this tells you. What else? Oh, tracking your weight was confusing. First off, I think that in the settings, you should just be able to choose whether you want to do like imperial or metric and it should just stay that way because it kept going automatically to metric because you know, most of the world uses that. And then I had to keep remembering to click the like pounds button when I was tracking my weight, but there were times that I forgot to do it. So it was tracking in the metric system. Oops. Also, it made you like track when you were just doing body weight exercises, which was just kind of like annoying. Like the first time it popped up, I was like, track what? Like, I don't know. I just used my body weight and I couldn't figure it out. And then I figured out you just have to press the track button and then it would let you go to the next step. And then also with the weight, I thought it was like a click in the box and type, but the boxes looked grayed out. And so I kept clicking and nothing was happening. And then literally like halfway through my workout, I discovered it was like a scroll, like you scroll to the weight. So that was just like user error, I guess, because I didn't understand. And a reason why I'm being like critical with design and stuff is because I do have a design background, not in like graphic design necessarily but I did learn that kind of stuff generally in school and I'm an interior designer so I like trying to design stuff so it's super easy for like anyone to be able to like sit there and figure it out you know and I did figure it all out but it just took some time so this is not to be critical in any way shape or form I absolutely love Lucy and I love the knobs group and I just love everything it's about but I just am giving my feedback my honest opinion she does listen to people's opinions which is awesome like like I know when I first downloaded it, I reached out to her and I was like, hey, I like to see what workouts I'm doing before doing it. And like, that wasn't an option in the beginning. And she responded saying like, oh my gosh, yeah, we've heard this a lot. We're working on it, don't worry. Thank you so much for supporting me. Like she was super nice, I forget what she said, but I was surprised to even get a response from her because she's such a big like person on the internet. And then she did put in the previews, but like I said earlier, I'm confused by them. I don't know how to get them to work. It helps because it's like, generally I know what she's doing because I work out like I know what these workouts are and then another thing was that this isn't good or bad it's just like interesting some of the workouts that she does like I'd never done before like instead of doing like full push-up she like did like shoulder push-ups basically for one of the exercises which was interesting since I am a more advanced fitness person this guide I'm doing may be too easy for me I'm not sure yet but I know you can make anything a little harder if you try so like for this the rests were too long they're like a minute each and I think they should be like 30 seconds or something so i may just like choose to do that myself lucy if you're watching this you're awesome thank you so much for everything you do for the instagram and fitness and health and whatever community you really do make an impact on people and it's awesome if you guys don't follow her go follow her she's awesome she really helped me break my thinking on some fitness and nutrition stuff that people talk about like fads and stuff and she's just funny and very real which I love. So that's my initial thoughts on the app. It's pretty good. I'm gonna keep using it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single watch, every single view, every single comment. I do respond to like every single comment. So if you comment something down below, unless it's really rude or gross or creepy, I will respond to it. Comment down below. Have you used this app before? If not, what workout app do you use? Do you like it? Tell me all the juice. I will see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.